चरित्र चैप्टर ट्वेल्व श्री गणेशाय नमः, श्री सरस्वती नमः, श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः। एस सिद्धा वेंट ऑन दस रिकाउंटिंग द डिवाइन एक्ट्स ऑफ श्री गुरु नामधारिका शर्मा हु वॉज लिसनिंग अटेंटिवली आज सर यू हैव सेट दैट श्री गुरु लेफ्ट द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर कृष्णा फॉर द बैंक्स ऑफ रिवर भीमा येट यू से दैट He abides on the bank of the former river as the invisible spirit, answering the prayers of the devotee. Has anyone experienced the truth of this claim? If so, I long to hear at least one instance of it. Siddha began, "O Namadharika, the supreme spirit of self does not have anything like movement from place to place, location, or any particular state of existence." what seems so is but the divine play of the lord he will be experienced as per one's own attitude to him now listen in course of time people came to know from ganganuja how the lord blessed the yoginis and assured them of his presence there in spirit so they worshiped the padukas with due reverence indeed all their wishes were fulfilled i shall recount one incident There was a Brahmin lady living in that area. All her children died immediately after. In desperation, she revealed her plight to a pious and learned Brahmin priest. The latter was divinely inspired to tell her thus, "Madam, there can be several karmic causes belonging to one's previous lives for the loss of one's children in the present life." it can be the consequence of killing cows brahmins dogs snakes and children or of stealing others wealth in your previous life you unfairly appropriated the wealth of a brahmin of the shaunaka gotra he has become vengeful spirit and has been killing all your children one is obliged to reap the consequences of one's mistakes of a former life There is no other way to work out one's past karma you too shall do so The lady could not bear these words she prostrated to his feet and begged him to teach her a way out of her pitiable plight The latter replied Madam perform the religious rites necessary for the elevation of the brahmin's soul to higher realms of existence along with the special rites of absolution and repentance Observe such religious vows for a full month then take a holy dip in the ashtatirtha and worship the sacred padukas and the fig tree then feed brahmins and give away gifts of money plentifully to a pious brahmin of saunaka gotra the lady submitted i do not have a plentiful store of money i shall certainly observe the monthly vows and worship the padukas Subsequently the Brahmin lady started observing the vow along with her husband on the third night the spirit that was killing her offspring appeared in her dreams she immediately ran to shri guru who was seated under the fig tree and sought his refuge shri guru consoled her and sternly reprimanded the spirit you mean spirit how dare you threaten a helpless woman the latter replied Lord it is not proper for you to be partial to her she misappropriated my money in her previous life in order to win it back by tormenting her i have ass- assumed this form shri guru said by assuming this form in frightening her like this you will not achieve your salvation i shall teach you the means of attaining higher realms of being listen It was in a previous life that she deprived you of your wealth in this life she is poor and has no means of paying you back i shall see that she scrupulously performs religious rites which will secure higher states of existence for you and i shall make her offer as much money as she can 
मैनेज टू ए मैन ऑफ योर गोत्रा बिसाइड्स आई शेल सिक्योर लिबरेशन फॉर यू इफ दिस सेटिस्फाइज यू इट इज वेल इफ इट डजेंट डू वॉट यू कैन बट आई शेल सर्टनली प्रोटेक्ट हर द स्पिरिट सबमिटेड लॉर्ड एट द वेरी साइट ऑफ यू आई एम फ्रीड फ्रॉम द ट्रॉल ऑफ माई इविल टेंडेंसीज यू मे डू एज यू प्लीज एंड आई शेल बी सेटिस्फाइड श्री गुरु टर्न टू द लेडी एंड सेट माई डियर डिड यू हियर वॉट ही सेट यू टू अकॉर्डिंगली एंड ही शेल बी लिबरेटेड देयर बाई योर ऑफ स्प्रिंग विल प्रॉस्पर एंड द लॉ डिसअपियर द लेडी वोक अप एंड इन्फॉर्म हर हजबेंड अबाउट द ड्रीम एंड एक्टेड अकॉर्डिंगली देयर बाई शी वॉज फ्रीड सोन फ्रॉम द कर्स्ड टॉर्मेंट एंड फ्रॉम द फ्रूट्स ऑफ हर फॉर्मर मिसडीट लेटर श्री गुरु अगेन अपियर इन हर ड्रीम गेव हर टू फ्रूट्स एंड सेट माई डियर फीड ब्राह्मीस एंड ईट दिस फ्रूट्स वेन शी वोक अप शी फाउंड द फ्रूट्स बाई हर साइड एंड डिड एज शी वॉज टोल सून शी कंसीव एंड इन कोर्स ऑफ टाइम शी वॉज ब्लेस्ड विद हैंडसम ट्विंस द हैप्पी कपल परफॉर्म्ड ऑल द राइट्स रिजॉइंड बाई शास्त्रास एंड ब्रॉट अप द चिल्ड्रन विद लव एंड टेंडरनेस इन देर एटीन ईयर they made all the arrangements necessary to invest the first child with the sacred thread to their amazement the boy was laid up for a few days with typhoid and died the mother could not withstand the calamity she beat her breast and lamented loudly saying my son where have you gone how long will you sleep wake up it's time for lunch take your food and play in the front yard your playmates are awaiting you i cannot live without you of the five children born to me you are my very life at your birth all the grief caused by the loss of earlier children was wiped clean from my heart leaving me in the ocean of grief where did you go it's cruel on your part to do so who will support us in our old age the people who gathered there tried to console her saying lady your lamentation will not revive the child do not weep death does not spare even gods seers and demons think upon this truth even avatars like rama and krishna had to pass away she was disconsolated and said the fruit that was given to me by the lord and which saved me from the wrath of the spirit has now proved fruitless henceforth who can trust his promises I shall take this news with me to the worlds beyond death. Then a sage emerged from the crowd, approached her and said, "My child, why do you lament the death of his son? It does not deserve to be lamented. Think, is he the body or the soul? If he is the body, even now he is before your very eyes with all his flesh, bones and skin as before. If he is the soul, then he is ever birthless and immortal whom do you lament then this world which has originated from time karma and the three modes of manifestation gunas is like a magic show how can it be trusted as real all relationships like mother and son are self conceived and transient it is as coincidental as the coming together of two logs of wood drifting down a flowing river Who was your husband in your previous life and who was your son can you tell me but then death are subject to time like day and night both these are inevitable just as youth succeeds boyhood death also confronts the embodied soul this delusion can be overcome only through the grace of the guru one who is born is bound to die so do not weep the dead cannot be brought back to life by grief lamentation or by any other means the lady interpreted interrupted him saying sir your metaphysical teaching does not appeal to me at the moment how can i ever trust the lord who has given me the fruits but failed to keep his promise the sage replied then my child go to him from whom you have received the blessing The lady took up the cords and quickly reached the hermitage of Sri Guru. There she furiously knocked her head against the holy padukas. Even at sunset, 
she refused to give away the dead body for the performance of the last rites all the people went away leaving the poor couple that night shri guru appeared in her dream and said my child how have i wronged you i have even blessed you the vital force had already left the body of your son but i have brought it back so saying the guru disappeared when she woke up she could not contain her joy at the sight of her son who was alive she showed him to her husband the blessed pair was immensely happy with the redoubled faith they paced around the fig tree thrice and prostrated to the padukas the brahmins of the village came to know of the miracle and glorified shri guru the brahmin pair had a dip in the confluence of the sacred rivers worshiped shri guru fed brahmins and returned home their son grew up to be a youth of great learning and swage manners he lived up to a ripe old age in wealth and prosperity similarly many others have achieved the objects of their wishes in that holy place in the sage of kali shri nrsimha saraswati is very much alive in spirit he responds to every call of his devotees ever ready to bless them whoever serves him with faith and devotion shall prosper even like the brahmin lady shri dattaya gurave namaha shri shri pada shri vallabhayai namaha shri nrsimha saraswatiyai namaha